Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial. Uh, today it's just a nice, uh, clean, simplistic uh, Tiger Woods edit. Okay, so stepping away from football and soccer uh, and I just want to do some uh, a, a little golf edit for any golf fans out there. Uh, I saw a similar design like this on Pinterest and I thought it absolutely, looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a few more details in it but for the purposes of a basic tutorial uh, I just want to keep it nice and simple. So without further ado, I'll get straight into it. So create yourself a new document. It can be whatever size you want. If you want it for Instagram, make it nice and square. Uh, in this instance, I'm just using a, uh, a normal blank canvas. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna uh, get my image of Tiger Woods here, and I'm just gonna drop it in. And just for this, uh, this canvas here, I'm just gonna semi-make it nice and central. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna cut him out. Um, so as you can see here on this uh, on this design, okay, we've got uh, this image of Tiger in the background, okay. Uh, all I've simply done there is I've, I've cut him out, okay, I've done a, a few little effects, a um, few little adjustment layers, and then I've added uh, this Tiger in the bottom, okay. And just uh, around his waist, I've just blended him in with the uh, with the grass from uh, from this image here. However, I've not desaturated him uh, in this image of him celebrating. So. Uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll get straight into it. So the first thing I need to do then is I need to cut him out. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll quickly speed it up, okay? A uh, few things you can use, you can uh, either mask him or use the pen tool. Uh, for instances of the, this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the pen tool. So I'm gonna select P uh, on my keyboard, okay? And it's highlighted the pen tool over here. Okay, uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna cut him out, okay? If you're unfamiliar with the pen tool, okay, that's, it's, it's a separate lesson really, so what I'll do is I'll link in uh, a few good pen tutorials, not mine, uh, but a few good tutorials, um, or one in particular that I, I do like on YouTube, uh, to get you started and get you on your way, and, and a good website to practice as well. So what I'll do is I'll cut him out, I'll stop chattering, and uh, I'll get back to you in a jiffy. Okay, so uh, I've made my selection there uh, with the pen tool, press command zero. Uh, I'm working on a Mac. Okay, and it brings it back to full screen. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, sorry, beforehand, I've got path selected up here. Okay, I'm gonna click make selection. Feather radius, zero pixels. Okay, anti-aliased. Uh, New selection, I'm gonna click okay. So now he's, uh, he's popping. Okay, yeah, so now we've got this, uh, this snail trail going all the way around. Okay, all I'm gonna go down here is uh, click on this little icon here. And this adds a layer mask. Now this helps us work non-destructively, so what we'll do is I'll select that, and you can see uh, everything in the background has now disappeared, obviously, ignoring this part here for a second. Okay, but what it's done is the pixels are still there, so I can right-click or double-click that, disable layer mask, and uh, it's still there. So that's a useful tip if you want to work non-destructively, which I would advise rather than using the eraser, then you can't get it back. Okay, so with these parts here, all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to uh, cut them out, and uh, again, I'm just going to mask them, but I will explain how I'm going to do that. So bear with me. Okay, so uh, I've, I've done my, uh, I've cut my out, I've, sorry, I've made my path there. Okay, I'm going to make my selection. Click OK. So now I've got this, uh, this snail trail again. All I'm going to do is hit B for the brush tool. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got this little icon uh, selected here, the masking icon. I'm going to make sure I've got black selected there, and I've got a nice hard brush. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure my flow is up. So make sure your settings of opacity and flow up there are uh, sorted. Okay, and I wanted a nice hard brush just to double check. And I'm just going to cut it out. I'm just going to uh, paint it away there. Okay, once I've done that, hit V to go back to my move tool. Press Command D to deselect. You can see it's still there. Now you can just see a couple of lines there. Okay, that's that's going to be uh, that'll be okay for now. Uh, and I'm going to do the same again. So I'm going to cut it out using the pen tool. Okay, when I've got the uh, selection, I'm going to make sure I'm uh, this little icon selected here, and I'm going to paint it away. So.
Okay, and just so I'm uh, I'm actually fully content, I'm just going to take a soft brush. Okay, I've got it down nice and low. I'm just going to paint away that bit there. It's not going to make a big difference, but it's just going to annoy me if I don't. And there we go. That'll be that'll be fine. Okay, now if you want to check that you're uh, you've painted everything away, okay, make sure you've got that highlight selection uh, selected. That little thumbnail, layer mask thumbnail. Hold Alt down, select it. Okay, and then it goes uh, to the layer mask, and then you can uh, you can just double check, make sure everything's okay. Press Command Zero to bring you back. Alt and click it, and it brings you back to your image. So fantastic. Uh, we've now got our image of Tiger Woods. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to copy him. So I'm going to press Command J on my Mac. Press Command Z go back, or I could just drag and drop the layer onto that icon there next to the uh, trash can, and it makes a copy. Now I'm going to convert it to a smart object, my uh, new layer, my copied layer, and this means you can go back and edit it. So I'm going to click Filter at the top. I'm going to go to Other, and I'm going to select High Pass. Now I've used a radius of uh, 3.5 pixels. I've noticed from uh, image to image it, it can change, but what we're going to do now is create a, a bit of a high definition. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Overlay. There we go. And what you can see is the sharpen the image. It's made it a little bit more HD. Now, uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the fill down to around 75. Okay, just so it's not as strong as what it was. Play around with it to your heart's content. Okay, uh, until you're happy, and then you can click this little arrow there and hide it. So we've uh, we've cut him out and we've sharpened him. So that's uh, that's fantastic. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the hue saturation adjustment layer. So this little uh, this little icon down here. Okay, I'm going to go to Hue Saturation, and I'm going to drop the saturation all the way down. Now, because I want it to work directly on these layers here, I am going to click this one. So it clips it. So it's a clipping mask. And you'll notice it's come back to color because I need to clip the high definition one. There you go. So if you if you weren't sure and you weren't sure on how I followed that there, okay. What you're simply doing is you're going to make this this layer here, this HD layer, into a clipping mask. So right click. Go down and where is it gone? Create clipping mask. There we go. And what this does is it, it means it affects the layer uh, directly underneath it. So I'm going to go to adjustment layer, like I did before, hue saturation, and drop the saturation right down. And I'm going to make sure it's clipped. So these two layers are now working on this layer here. They won't affect any of the layers. Okay, then I'm going to go uh, add a levels adjustment layer. Okay, and I'm going to create a clipping mask again. Now this uh, slider here, I'm going to drag it down into the 30. So 30 as it's playing around with it. Okay, I'm going to make these black and whites really pop. And this one's going to be 0 0.78. There we go. And the white there is going to be 217. Excuse me. 217 there. So I was playing around with it, and uh, that was what I was happy with. Again, if you're using a different image, different sports star, obviously the shading and lighting is going to be uh, different. So don't take these uh, adjustments as gospel, okay? But these are the ones I've gone with uh, on the levels. Okay, fantastic. So uh, we've had a levels adjustment layer. Okay, I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer as well, okay? Just tinkering around with it, okay? Just making a few, as it says, adjustment layers. And with this one, just going to rise it slightly just to bring out the lights, okay? Uh, these curves uh, have different effects. Again, you can find plenty of tutorials. Um, they, I would recommend watching and learning about the curves adjustment layer and I think that's it not too much just something nice and again I'm going to clip it now if you uh, want, don't want to right clip it and you want a faster workflow okay you can hold alt down on your keyboard and you see this little icon appears when you're hovering between the, uh, the layers I'm going to select it okay and again it clips it there now the last adjustment layer for this layer is the gradient map so I'm going to go to gradient map at the bottom here Select it. Okay, I'm going to select my color, and I've got my gradient map, my palette here. Okay, these are presets already, and what you want to do is go into photographic toning. Okay, and then click OK. Append means add to whatever gradients you've got in here already. Okay, it'll just add to them. Okay, but I just uh, click OK, and the gradient uh, I'm looking for is this one: sepia selenium free. Sepia selenium. 
and I'm going to clip that one as well. Uh, let me just double check on this layer. Yep, I darkened it to 75 before I did. Yep, so uh, I'm going to go to my adjustment layer, uh, palette here, and drop it down to 75. Uh, there we go. So, fantastic. Uh, so now we've got our image of uh, Tiger Woods and he's good to go. So we've now we've, uh, we've achieved this back bit. So the next bit is we need to, uh, need to add the celebrating tiger in the bottom. So get my second image. Again, can be whatever image you choose. Okay, I'm just going to scale him to how I'd like him. And may go a little bit bigger this time. He's going to be popping out. I would like the grass on there. And let me just check it to this one. His hand was about there. And what you can do is you can just drop the opacity so you can see. So you can see he was a lot bigger on that one. Yep, yeah, so I'm going to go Command T. Okay, I'm going to hold Shift and Alt. Okay, I'm just going to grow it in proportion. And he's a little bit bigger there. Yeah, I'm splitting. I'm splitting hairs. I'm splitting hairs. Um, I'll drag the opacity back up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to cut him out. Uh, so then what I can do is I can uh, desaturate the reverse layer, make make things a lot easier. So if you will just bear with me again, I will cut him out and I will get back to you. Okay, so uh, I've got my selection here. Okay, I've uh, made sure it's on a path. Okay, I'm going to make my selection. Okay, okay. Now what we're going to do this time is while we've got this uh, this snail trail layer, okay, I'm going to press Command J, uh, and that creates a new layer. So if I take away that layer there, you can see the tiger is stood there. So that looks fantastic. Okay, so with this uh, layer I've got here, it's tiger free. Um, it's just how it's popped up. Okay, I'm going to drop it below copy of Tiger there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to desaturate it as well so I'm going to go to my adjustment layers hue saturation and I'm going to desaturate it and you'll notice uh, the original image of Tiger is uh, still saturated and still colourful okay because this layer is on top of this layer here so you can clip it uh, again doesn't actually matter but for purposes I'm just going to do that Anyway, I digress. Uh, so I've got my image of Tiger here. Now what I need to do is, uh, it depends how you want to work it, okay? And I just need to mask away. So with, I'll go to, I'll start with this layer. So this uh, bottom layer here, which is this, uh, this black and white image of the background of the crowd cheering, okay? I'm gonna to go to layer mask. Okay, and we'll see we've got the uh, layer mask uh, thumbnail there. Okay, I'm going to hit B. Okay, I'm going to right click or double click if you're on a Mac. I'm going to click, select a nice soft brush. Okay, and to start with, okay, to start with, I'm just going to get rid of those hard lines. That's just the way I uh, I like to work. So you so you know they're never there and they've been taken away. So there's nothing worse than you do something and you share it with your friends and then someone points out. In fact, I can see a line. Okay, so use your bracket keys, okay, and you can make it um, a little bit bigger. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to uh, reduce the flow. So 25% say. Okay, make it smaller. And what I want to leave behind is just kind of want the flow to go with it, with the crowd. And I want to kind of round it off around here, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just going to paint away. Around there like that. 
Okay, and when I was practicing making this image, it's taken me ages to get it right. So play around with it to your heart's content. I'll come back to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, layer mask thumbnail of Tiger from the original image from this one here. Okay, and I'm just going to paint away his his waist. Now, if you notice on the other one, I painted away so it was flush with that line there. So it was like he's coming out of the crowd there. Okay, again, it's up to you how, how detailed you want to be. Okay, but now you've got a better angle to work with. So you go back to that layer there. Okay, and you can paint away. If you want to add on, so if you want to uh, put stuff back, press X and it'll swap your colors around. Make sure you've got white in the foreground. Okay, and you'll see how we can paint it back on. It's not what I want right now. And that looks a little bit better. And I might just drop the flow down to 1% even. Just paint it out. Press X. Get rid of some down the bottom just a little bit so it's blending in. And uh, I do like drawing. And it, this reminds me of when I'm shading in with a pencil. Again, so. It's up to you how, how strong you would like it. Again, you can just paint away there so it's not as strong, not as dark at the back. Just getting rid of a little bit. So anyway, um, I digress. So you can play with it to your heart's content, how you would like it. Press Command Zero to come back. We'll see how we're getting on. So yeah, we've got a, we've got a similar style to that one there. So we're not quite finished yet. Uh, so what we're going to do is just a few finishing touches. Okay, we're going to add a levels. Okay, so we're not going to click this level layer. So this levels layer now that we make this adjustment on is going to affect all our layers. Okay, and this uh, output slider down the bottom. Okay, I'm going to slide across to 11. There we go. And this one to 220. There we go. As you can see, we just gave it a little, uh, little tint. Okay, and I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. If I can find you, there you go, brightness and contrast. Okay, I'm going to slide up the brightness to 30. And the contrast to 42. There we go. And that is our nice, clean, simplistic, simplistic image. Okay, there's loads more... Uh, adjustment layers you could make to it and be a bit more advanced, a bit more adventurous. Okay, it's, in, uh, it's entirely up to you. Okay, uh, for example, you could uh, create a new uh, new layer. Uh, we could create it underneath this one there. Okay, get your brush tool, hit, hit D so these are black. Okay, flow down to 1%. Okay, you can just uh, paint in shadows and stuff and just accentuate um, the shadows and the darkness and or, or whatnot. You can... You play around to your heart's content. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit of waffle there at the end. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial, quick fire tutorial, uh, just to help you with your skills uh, on Photoshop. If you're new and a beginner, which I imagine most of my subscribers are, okay, can't reiterate enough, get, trying to absorb as much information as you can, watching as many YouTubes, uh, tutorials, um, not just mine, loads of other channels, find some good channels. And just keep practicing, keep practicing, and keep practicing. Uh, I'm by no means an expert and know it all. I'm still learning. I'm constantly learning. Such a big, complicated program, but once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's fairly simple. So, enough talking from me. Hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. If you did, click like and subscribe, and uh, subscribe just here. It should be popping up. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your time. See you on the next tutorial.